Ah, uh, security, security, security. The uh, Aaron Grotz, we inbound. Blue Pierce, 30 minutes. And for uh, Port Terminal, uh, number uh, berth uh, number two, we should call uh, Aaron Grotz, the inbound Blue Pierce, 30 minutes. Uh, about to port terminal, uh, the uh, Harry Grant. Calling the uh, Duluth Aerial Bridge, the uh, Harry Grant. Harry Grant, Aerial Bridge, Channel 10, please. Channel 10. Bridge on 10. How the Harry Grant on uh, 10, uh, 1.5 miles out, sir. Hi, right, Cap, I see on radar there. I gotta let you get a little bit closer and then I'll start off. Okay, very good, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much for the call. Bridge quick. Very old Earth Bridge, Vista Star. Vista Star Aerial Bridge, Channel 10, please. Channel 10. Car on 10. Aerial Bridge on 10, go ahead. Yeah, we'll follow the Heron Grok then, if that's okay. Yeah, sure, no problem, Cap. You're gonna be right, want to be right on his tail. Okay, I think I can do that. All right, sounds good. Aerial bridge, please. Thank you. Aaron Grot, this is Star. I'll be coming in behind you, going through the piers. Okay, very good, sir. Yep, we'll uh, see you in there. Appreciate the call. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, visitors. Right now we have the Herengrock arriving through the Duluth Ship Canal. The Herengrock was built as the Beluga Fidelity in 2007 by a Chinese shipyard. She measures 452 feet in length, 68 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a 7,300 horsepower, six-cylinder Mack diesel engine which gives her a top speed of 15 knots or about 17 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a 700 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Heron Grok has two hatches on her deck, which open into two cargo holds located below deck. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 9,600 tons. Over deck is, are two cranes capable of carrying 200 tons each, which allow her to unload or load heavy cargo, like wind turbine blades, towers, or project equipment. She is owned and operated by the Spleethoff Shipping Company out of Amsterdam, Netherlands, and she is registered in the Netherlands. The registered country isn't necessarily where the ship or crew are from, but who is lost the ship or crew Captain, salute. 
which is a traditional greeting between the ships and the bridge. Ship initiates a greeting with one long blast, off the two short blasts, and the bridge responds to the same thing. A company tradition dating back to 1946, all ships of the fleet are named for Dutch canals or grogs. The year grog is uh, arriving today with a load of... Um, large bags of quartz sand that they'll be unloading at Port Terminal here in Duluth. So once again, we have the Hira Grog Director of the Duluth Ship Canal. She was built in 2007, measures 452 feet in length, 68 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. Maximum carrying capacity of 9,600 tons. Owned and operated by the Splethoff Shipping Company out of the out of Amsterdam, Netherlands. And once again, they're on their way in today with a load of quartz sand uh, that they'll be unloading at Port Terminal. Now, if everyone notices out in the distance on the horizon, we do have another ship coming in that wasn't on our schedule. That is the Mishpacotten. They should be arriving here in about 20 to 30 minutes or so. So if you'd like to see another ship come through, um, I invite you to stick around, and then we also have a third vessel that will be coming. Okay, they still figure three days, all right. Yes, sir, last night I heard. 